I'm Dr. Manmeet Bhatia, a senior neurologist and a sleep specialist at the Neurology and Sleep Center, Delhi. So an often asked question is that when should one meet a sleep specialist? So there are three or four very common sleep problems which can affect your night and also affect your day. So we need to understand that sleep problems are not only for the night, but they also have a significant impact on the day. And at present, we have about 1 billion people in the world who may have a sleep problem. And a large majority remain undiagnosed, untreated, and they do suffer with the consequences of a poor night and a poor day. So the commonest problem is poor sleep. So if we go a little further, this could be if you have difficulty in falling asleep, that you're lying in bed, can't fall asleep for one hour, two hours, three hours. You do fall asleep, but you have frequent breaks in your sleep. Or you just wake up very early. Or you are just not happy or satisfied with your quality of sleep. That's poor sleep. So any of these could be or combination of this could be what is affecting you and you have a bad night. The second symptom which people come often with is snoring. So this is all, there's a huge extent to this problem and all aspects of severity. It could be a mild snoring intermittent, but those with loud snoring, such as it requires that you get thrown out of your bedroom or people do not want to share a room with you in hostels or travels or during work conferences, etc. So it's significant impairment and a noise which bothers your people around. So that's a very, very loud snoring can cause a lot of embarrassment and it can also be accompanied by choking and again, a very disturbed night. The third major thing is that how do you feel when you wake up? Are you tired or are you fresh, bright, happy or exhausted? So that's just a feeling tired on waking up. And the other thing is feeling very sleepy during the day. So at those activities or tasks, when you are required to be awake, you feel that you cannot sustain that wakefulness and need to keep dozing off, sitting at a computer, reading, up to the extent sometimes just at work, at a meeting, and you find that I'm nodding off, that's a definite condition which needs to be addressed. Another one is something like sleep walking, sleep talking, you've been found that you opened the door, came onto the balcony or somebody you know did that, falling off the bed, jerking at night, um, hitting the bed partner. So these are abnormal behavior and sleep. Lastly is the timing of sleep. That means what time do you fall asleep and what time do you wake up? Ideally, we are supposed to synchronize with the light outside. So you sleep at 11, 12 midnight and wake up in the morning. But some people have pushed the sleep timing to 4 a.m., 5, 6, 7 a.m. And then they sleep through the day. And this is called an altered sleep cycle which will have an impact on their functioning. So thus, anyone who has any of these problems separately or together should seek help from a sleep specialist so that we can improve our overall quality of life, physical and emotional and mental health. Uh, if you do need help and if we think we can help you, do reach out to us and we shall be glad to do so. Thank you.